Ravens will get time for EG Broken to get over there blade. and collapse. Took a lot. He's still eating damage to the Baron. The edge will all see so much there. But it's Bayek to the mix. Now EG is going to go back through. It's Bayek gets one. It's Bayek gets two. EG is going to get the Baron as well. Are you kidding me? G2 at the Baron. They throw back to EG. Oh, boy. Caps wants to do the split push. It's very common that if multiple members collapse onto the bear, uh, the, the split pusher, you go and start the Baron, but they just don't have a tank without the Galio there. He's realistically the tankiest person on the team, so everyone's getting obliterated by the Baron, and Broken Blade is too chunked out. There's a really strong engage by EG. If you mess up, J4 Rakan can mess you up, and that's exactly what happened. And unfortunately, G2 might have fallen off the end of it. Yeah, I mean, this is an insane amount of pressure. They are getting back. They're already on inhibitor turrets. In fact, pressuring, they're going to crack the mid in hip here. G2 are going to have to find a fight, but they're, they're trading. They, they have broken blades. The top lane yeah. without him, their engage is so weak. G2 are going for it, though. Tarkovich is going to get drafted up. They're not going to follow it through. They'll take the tower instead. G2 are just going for it here. They've got the Baron. They're going to race broken blade. No, they're not. They're going back. Gonna use those empowered recalls. They're gonna go match him now. Two EG saying, screw it, we don't care about dragons. Let's get the third inhibitor. Gwen just straight up sieging though with the W. EG gonna take this tower. It's gone. Have to be careful though. Don't wanna push too far forward. Broken Blade's flanking. Really good flank here from Broken Blade. EG now gonna be forced into a 5v5. Broken Blade, what's the angle? They spot him just barely with the, the little blue trinket there. But EG wanna stay. They've got so much pressure with these waves. Yeah, but they still need to respect it. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> it is this very scary play. You can see them. No one actually able to get onto the inhibitor to hit it. Each, uh, impact like this, wrapping around, starting to clear out this vision, so it's a little harder for, for Broken Blade to find an angle. Again, Broken Blade now kind of on the front side of his team. Impact basically marking him here, making sure that Broken Blade can't find, you know, uh, the Ezreal in particular. A sleep's going to happen. EG going to push forward. Pokemon is very low, but now the re-engage happens. Caps with the ult. He five jumping on through. George has been trying to find him, but he can't get on the black end. GA's going to proc, but Caps is in the mix. And Impact, he's actually found Targumus. They're going to find Caps as well. Falcon sacrifice for the cause. And EG are going to take three in him. Caps and Targumus down, four up for EG. Triple in him down. Are they going to reset or try and end the game? They're, going, going, for it. They're going for the game. They are going to go for it here. 4v3. Danny lets the ulti rip. Broken Blade, no ult. G2, not much left in the tank, but Jojo getting shot. Flacket is so strong if he can find the free time, but I don't know if he can find the space. Broken Blade going back in, but now dashes back out. Danny aggressively far forward. Yank on the target. Is Bayek going to get killed off, though? Flacket finds the kill. That's going to delay it. EG have to leave. Nicely played defense there by G2, baiting them in and out, never letting them find a target. None of the engages by them actually let it. Ooh, Danny gets tagged up. TP no coming team. in as well from Broken Blade. They're going to have to split here and look for an area to recall in safely. They're going to see him running across the wave, but Targamas is in hot pursuit. Doesn't want to let them out. Yep, the U of EG are maybe in a spot of bother. Jojo doesn't get trolled by Banshees. They took that one out. EG is going to keep running. Danny's just going to fight. He has to try and kill Targamas. Here's the TP in from EG. They're going to try and protect the lads. Here comes Vulcan. Look at his support. The team is going to give up his life, but Impact's here as well now. Impact now going to let him rip. He takes out Caps. They get another Broken Blade full. EG, they find the counter counter play. Who is baiting who? Pastry time. The flash followed by Vulcan getting in there to make sure Caps could not actually get onto the two most important members. Made sure they kept the youth alive, like you said. And there's that cliff. Still technically G2 with the gold lead, but my god, has EG been in control ever since that Baron throw. Years of my life are being shaved off from this game. Really? And we're not man. done. You're Makes sense. Like the, the witches in Hocus yeah, Pocus. Yeah. That's a boomer <laughs> reference right there. EG pushing in again. I don't think you can end at this point. EG looking like they're going to agree with me and just go ahead and back away. Critically, a minute 40 or so until the Baron is, oh, sorry, until the Infernal Dragon's back up, and Baron's back up right now. Yep. I, I like this call, you know, Baron spawning, triple in hips down. It's a slow it down a little bit here. I don't know the last time Danny reset. He probably has a ton of gold to actually spend. So go ahead, let your minions do the work, grab the free objective, set back up, because it would be nice if you could end the game before you're on soul point, but really.